Following on from some of the earlier videos, we're still trying to find out the limit of this sequence as n tends to infinity for any given value of x. As it stands, this, uh, this sequence here is complicated. So when something's complicated, you would create a scenario where, where it's simple, just so that you can get a, 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 an understanding of what's going on. So, so as it stands, this thing here is complicated. So create a simple scenario where, where let's say x equals 4. So create a simple scenario, just so that we can understand what's going on. So you would put the 4 into this x here. So for your first term, n equals 1. Put the 1 into the n here. So it would be 4 to the power of 1, 4 to the power of 1, and then, uh, and then, and then 1 factorial, 1 factorial. So, so this is your first term. This is n equals 1. And then for your second term, n equals 2, you would do the same, put into here, put into here. That would then give you this. So this is your, your second term. This is your third term. This is your, your fourth term, fifth term. And then, and then you wanting to know well, you've got to take n all the way to infinity. So you've got to take this n all the way to, to infinity. So you wanting to find out the, the limit of this thing here. It's really you wanting to find out the value of this fraction here. Let's say 9999 nine, nine, nine here. So it's really 4 to the power of 999 nine, nine, and, and then 9999 and then nine, 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 nine factorial. So, so you wanting to find out the limit of this. It's really you wanting to find out the value of this, of this fraction here. But, but taking it all the way to infinity, so, um, let, let's just take it. Let's just take it all the way to ten, just just so we get an understanding of what's going on. So let's let's create a scenario where we just take it up to to uh, to ten, just so that we can see what's going on. So um, so let's just look at this scenario here. Let's just look at this one fraction here. Let's just look at this one fraction. So that one fraction here is this. Uh, that one fraction is four to the power of 10. So remember, we are looking at the 10th fraction. We are looking at the 10th term. So that, that would be this. So 10 factorial is this. 4 to the power of 10 would be 4 times 4, 10 times. So that, that would be the numerator. If, if you look at this here, you, you can imagine this as being one fraction. And then this here is another fraction. This here is another fraction, and so on. Um, if, if you look at this, this is always increasing one because ten, um, whatever factorial here, it would be, it, it will always be increasing. But there, there, and then this x here, you could select any x. In our case, we, we selected x to be four. If, if the, if the denominator keeps on increasing, there will come a point where, where the denominator will be bigger than the numerator. So we're going to call this letter, uh, this, this, uh, this term here, m. Um, as it turns out, this m here is quite important, so I'm just trying to highlight the, that fact. Because our aim here is to trap this in between two things. So we, our aim, we, we want to find out the limits as n tends to infinity. Our aim is, we, we've got to try and trap this in between two things. And it turns out that, it turns out that we, we need this m, this num, this m here in order to, uh, to trap this. So, so hang on. So suppose you, well, when you start out with this sequence, you can select x to be any number. Let's say, let's say x is 37. Let's say x is 37. Remember, n as n tends to infinity, so really n will be really, really big. 9999, nine, nine, uh, and then you, you have 9999 nine, nine, nine factorial. The point I'm trying to make is that the, the numerator is always uh, 37 times 37 times 37 and so on. There will, and, and, then, and then because you've got 9999 nine, 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 nine factorial, there will come a point where this thing here is increasing all the time. There will come a point where the denominator will be bigger than the than the numerator. There will come a point where this will be the same as this, where where you have because this is this is going to be a very very big number, and then this is you it, this is staying the same all the time. So there will come a point where you have uh, the denominator where the new denominator will be the same as the numerator. But then we want to to look at this number here, m. So so the the point here is that just bear in mind that there will come a point where where there's a number where the denominator will be bigger than the numerator. So we're going to call this uh, this m, uh, this number here, m. And then later on we're going to make use of m. And some other things that I need you to um, to notice is that um, if you look at this, um, any number in our case is four. Uh, and then you've got to the power of n. So, uh, so there's going to be 
in our case it's 10 here, n is 10, the 10th term. The, the, the point here is that here you've got n and then here you've got n factorial. That, that means that here you, all these will match up. There are 10 terms here, so that means there must be 10 terms at the bottom. So, so these, these will always match up because, um, because up here you're going to have 10 terms. Down here you're going to have 10 terms. So, so you're always going to get uh, the same number of terms at the top, the same number of, um, of terms at the bottom. Bear that in mind. And the other thing that, well, I will continue in the next video.